Hey, it's your daily hour with me. Here we are on the program. Look at Dan. That was from yesterday. Oh, the camera zoomed in today. Look, it's the most zoomed in the, sh the camera's ever gone. So I'm gonna go back out here to zoom it back out. Get the regular, the regular look at the show. That was zoom, zoom mode. So we're getting regular. Here's the regular zone. Oh, there's Dan still over there. So we're here on the program. What happens on the program is we turn on the machine, start talking for an hour, goes for a whole hour, and that's what happens. And we don't have any guests today, so I just guess I'll leave Dan here as our, uh, he's like a ghost guest or a special guest. So, he's like, hey, Dan, how you doing over there? Uh, Dan will answer, though, but he's, he can be our, our special guest over there. So if we call somebody else, we can start making the phone calls. Uh, the show is starting right now. It's about uh, 5.10. And it's the day before New Year's for me, but it's uh, you know next week for you guys. So it's not that big of a day. So it's a regular day over there on your end. It's a happy day. Here we go. We're going to... Uh, um, Dan. So we're going to make some thing. Uh, we're going to call Freddie, I guess, to see how he's doing at the beginning of the show, and maybe call other people after Freddie and see how that goes. So here's the number. going to call Freddie. Oh, wait, I only have this number, but I'll have to get the, the new one so it works. Can't call his Google voice number. That's what we were doing in the past. It wasn't working. We have a new phone number here in the studio. The new number is Ed Zero Land Eighty A. Uh, the old phone number, Do Zero Island A, doesn't work anymore. Now you call Ed Zero Land Eighty A, and that's how you make the calls. Uh, I don't know if the phones are even working. I haven't done the test yet, but so that sounds like it's working. So here we go. Calling Freddie. And we're gonna see how he's doing. We're on day a hundred and. Three, 103 of the program. We just had our 100th day. That was pretty exciting. <laughs> yeah, the Freddy, the Freddy's loud. <laughs> oh, <Boop>. yep. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Freddy, how you doing? We're on the program. Hey, how's it going on the program? Good. We got the, the phones are working again, see? Yeah, you got a hold of me. That's good. Yeah. Well, how's that? Are you at TV? Yeah, we just put up. We just finished putting up the shelving in Studio B. <laughs> the shelving? Yeah, it looks good. For the storage? Yeah, you're gonna have to check it out next time you're in the studio. Yeah. What did you uh, What did you put on the shelving? What's gonna go on the shelving? Um, there are these big industrial-looking cabinet-type things, and one of them's gonna split. Studio B has been like a full of junk and storage for a long, long time, just kind of like scattered and stacked around, and it's all going to be that stuff put in shelves, and um, the youth media stuff is going to go in one, yeah, it's good, we're going to make it so that Studio B can actually be a studio again, so there'll be two studios at TCTV once it opens back up, which is now, yeah, if, if, if you're watching right now, you can actually uh, come in and use Studio B. Yeah, you can use it yourself, all the watchers out there, they can go and use the, the place. Um, yeah. So today, today is Thursday, and it's uh, the day before New Year's. I don't know what, what's gonna happen. We don't have any guests or anything today. We were gonna have a guest, but they they bailed out. Maybe they're gonna come here tomorrow. Oh, cool. Who's that? Her name is Mary. She's a community member, and she'll be on the program maybe tomorrow. Great. Cool. But today we have nobody, and we, we didn't get any voicemails or anything like that. So I guess it's just gonna be a regular day where we just call. Oh, whoa. Whoa? Yeah, whoa, just a regular day. Yeah, the regular day. It's, I don't know, man, we've, we've been having some events. We have Dan, I, I did a capture of Dan last night right before he left, and so I still have him over here. Oh, let me see him. He's a still, yeah, there he is. Hey, looks good, yeah. Yeah. He's over there, he's in the sample, I mean, he's just like a, a still from yesterday, but he's the only guest, the still of Dan over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have him split screened in there? Yes. Nice. <laughs> cool. Yep, so, um, 
he was on the program last week or yesterday. Maybe we should call him. See how he's doing today. But I don't know if I want to call him and see how much t stuff goes. I guess we'll call him to McDonald's. Uh, is anything exciting happening at TCTV other than the shelves? Um, I I mean not really. I wish I had more to talk about, but it's down week, so it's all been pretty quiet. Just oh, down week. Up, you know. Yeah. So um, is is um, is tomorrow is John Horseman's program going to be the, a, a new program or is it going to be the old program? I think it's going to be still the December one because oh that's a good question. Is tomorrow the first or the thirty first? It's the thirty first. Yeah, so I guess it's going to be the one that's been airing. He only does once a month. All right. Well, I'm excited for the new one. That's going to be have to wait. We'll have to wait a week for that one, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be good. I, I can't wait to see what John Horseman does this year, or uh, yeah, this next year, 2011. Hope it's a good year for him. Yeah, how's I have a feeling it might be a difficult year for him though. Yeah, that's what he always says. Um, how's the how's the show going? The contract? Did you ever get that what, Sunday thing going? Remember a while ago you said that? I, I figured out. I mean, I I uh, the it was just a problem on the printout that he gave me. Um, it said, like, Saturday, or Monday through Saturday at 11.30, and then, um, and then Monday at 11.30, it said two Mondays on there, and one of those Mondays was supposed to be Sunday, although I think Sunday it might be, uh, at midnight, so other than that, though, it, it, everything is totally online to go and good to go. So... We have 11:30s except for on Fridays and Sundays. We're about in the morning too, right? Uh, I haven't got the morning yet, but I'm working it out. We're gonna see if we can do that. And he, everybody, but everybody's happy everybody with that. Everybody's set by tomorrow. Everybody's happy Pardon? about the contract over there at TCTV. They're not. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everything's great. That's good. It, it's great. I, at first, when we started this whole thing, I was a little bit worried. I thought that people were gonna uh, like not like having to do episodes every day or something. I'm not sure what I was worried about, but it seems like everybody's really happy about it. Good. Yeah, it seems like they could use more, some more programming. Yeah, we're going to start doing some stuff. We're going to start booking some guests. Maybe if you ever see people at TCTV, maybe you could an announce that I want the other TCTV people as guests, you know, like maybe like the guy with the with the bald, the, with the beard, the Quaker guy. Oh, Quaker guy, yeah, yeah. Uh, name Glenn Anderson. Yeah, and like the guy from the hunting show. Like all those people right, I watch I their shows. Occasionally. I yeah, I need to. I I keep meaning to tell him to call in. I see him occasionally. They come in pretty regularly because they're also working on uh, Diane Miller's show. The in case you missed it, and actually Diane Miller's on the board. The, did you vote for the uh, the TCTV board of directors? Whatever they call it, but I think it's the board of directors. What is what's it? Case, what is it in case you missed it about? Um. Oh, in case you missed it, that was John. Oh, uh, Bob Giles' program about local community events and stuff. Oh, but, community um, events. So, yeah, he would go out and film like music performances or plays and stuff like that, and try to get interviews with everybody. But his show now is. He, he just seems to be helping out with a lot of other people's shows, and so he hasn't done a, like, strict in case he missed it thing in a long time. Oh. That's good. I mean, that's bad, but it's good that he's helping others. Yeah, he loves it. <laughs> it's great. So, yeah. A lot of just like to help out. It's funny, they don't even do their own shows. They just, you know, run cameras for, um, for other shows. I think the religious shows have a lot more people that uh, will do it because... You know, since it's religious, they feel like, oh, yeah, I can get behind this and help out. But, oh, yeah. Um, but it's tougher because otherwise, like, for just other productions, people have to find, you know, something that interests them. Yeah, we don't have any uh, any any camera people here on the program. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> the TV <laughs> in the studio. The TVs are kind of like a camera people, but they're TVs, but they have cameras on them. <laughs> they are camera people. They're holding them. Yes, but they don't zoom. Okay, Freddie. I guess I'll call some McDonald's now. All right. Sounds good. Thanks for giving me a call. All right. Bye bye. That was Freddie.
And we're calling the next people here. Uh, call McDonald's. See how McDonald's happens, how they're doing. And then we'll call maybe Nick or David. See how they're doing. Hello, McDonald's? Yes, this is McDonald's. Hey, do you guys have the holiday pies? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Right now we're on the cherry pies. I have uh, the cherry and the apple. You have cherry and apple? Uh-huh. Oh, hey, um, do you guys have to fry your pies or do you guys bake the pies? I uh, wouldn't know that our pies are baked. They're baked? All right, uh -huh. thank you. All right, thank you. So that was a McDonald's. We called them and they, uh, they told us about the pies there. We're about, uh, what time did I say we started show? 5.10? We're about 10 minutes into the program there, one sixth of the way. And we're going to keep going and uh, moving through time like that. So, see how that goes. Maybe let's make the next phone call here. We'll call one more McDonald's in Delaware. This one's in Selbyville. Selbyville, Delaware. Saying, hey, Delaware, how you doing? Hey, Selbyville. they're doing. Maybe they're doing good and they'll answer the phone. Hopefully. McDonald's? Hello, uh, Selby Mill McDonald's. Hello, can you tell me how, about how many McDonald's are located in the town of Selby Mill, Delaware? I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, can you tell me how many McDonald's are located in Selbyville? In Selbyville, just one. Just one, the one there. Hey, mm -hmm. do you guys have a sweet chili sauce? Oh, I'm sorry? Do you guys have a sweet chili sauce? I don't know what that. Hello? Can you, yes, I, I can hear it, sir. Oh, do you have the sweet chili sauce? I don't know what that means. <coughs> <coughs> uh, sweet chili sauce. Sweet cheese? Sweet chili sauce. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what that means. You guys don't have sweet sweet chili sauce. Do you say sweet cheese? Chili. Chili. Uh, hold on, let me one second. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. That sounds like I'm having a hang up. Maybe not, though. So we're waiting for the McDonald's to come back. I don't know if they're gonna come back. Hi, I'm gonna help you. Hey, McDonald's, do you guys have the sweet chili sauce? No, I'm sorry, we do not. Uh, do you know if you're ever gonna get it back? Uh, we're not sure yet. It should be back soon, but we're not sure. Oh, okay. I'm looking for the sauce. Do you guys have pumpkin pie milkshakes? Hello? I might have lost them. I think we lost them. So I guess we'll have to make another phone call. McDonald's hung up on me or something after I asked him about this, the, the milkshakes. Oh, look, let's go to cat cam.
Uh oh, cat camp. Oh, here it goes. There's the cat next to the vent. It's the heater. Cat likes the heater. But it only makes sense. So, uh, there's the cat down there in cat cam. And we're going to call Shruta. I need to go. I think I'm going to get him one of those mics that, uh, you put on your head, and then I don't have to hold it because sometimes I don't have enough hands to do anything on the program. So here's the. Phone's supposed to be ringing. I don't hear it though. Oh, it's, it's become unplugged. Hello? Hello? So it's still ringing. It's mailbox of 43480. Don't want to leave a message on the Press 1, or just wait for the tone. To send a numeric page, press 2 now. At the tone, please record your voice message. When you are finished recording, you may hang up or press pound for more options. Hey, it's the program here, Shreda. So if you want to have a call back, the number here is Ed Zero Land ADA. We got a new phone number, so you can call in. See how you're doing. Okay, bye-bye. Uh, So that was that, and we're, uh, well, I lost the stand, so now cat cam is only in my hands there. So you can see I'm holding cat cam over here, this is the camera I'm pointing at the cat. So I'm going to, um, make another phone call here, call, uh, David, see if he's feeling better. We ask him how he's doing. Yeah, it's been a couple of days. We called him on the 100th episode, and now we're going to call him on a regular episode. Now it's we're in the, being the regular days here. Now that we're back into the regular days. And then after that, I think we'll call Dan. Yeah, we're trying to call them, and um, people take a while to answer the phones. Plus, we got a new, a new number, so it might take a while for people to start answering. Mailbox belonging to three six zero four eight one two zero one. Accept new messages at this time. Please try again later. Goodbye. Oh, uh, they don't even, they don't even, can't even leave a message on that one. That's pretty wild. So, here, I'm going to call somebody next, and we'll see how that goes. Oh, uh, go ahead, cat. Call Nick, see how Nick's doing? Call him next. Hopefully, hopefully it'll make it pick up. I think you can hear it on my neck. You're listening to my neck right now. So I'm going to call the next people here. I don't know what the neck sounds like. We'll have to find out later. That was loud. You can't see the cat. It was too loud. Hey, cat! I'm looking at the tail. Hey Nick, it's the program. How you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. The program. Yes, we've been on the program. Did you? Uh, we are on day 103 now. 103? Yes. That's a lot of days. We're 103 days. 103 hours. 
Nick, has anything exciting happened to you since the last time we talked to you on the program? Um, oh, it's like really snowy up here in Granite. Oh yeah, it's frozen here, but it's not snowing. No participation. Oh really? Just frozen conditions, yeah. Did that? Crazy. How's the flood? How Did you guys build your new basement or whatever? No, the basement's still a complete mess. Is there still water? Is there standing water down there still? No, there's just like, it just smells really bad. Oh. The dusty keeps peeing down there. Oh, it smells like pee. Yeah. Why is, is the dog peeing down there because it's already, it's already moist, so it's, it's like, it seems like a good place to pee? I think it's just because it's like kind of a little, it's like a wasteland down there, so he kind of just figures it doesn't matter. Yeah, it seems like it's outside, right? Yeah, almost. Yeah. Hey, uh, are you in the bathroom right now? <coughs> no, actually, I'm uh, going to the gym right now. I'm walking out to my car. You're walking to the car? You're going to the gym? Yeah, the gymnasium to work out. Are you, have you been exercising? What? Have you you've been exercising? Yeah, I've been exercising a lot. I'm trying to not be fat anymore. Well, you're going to be a not fat person? Yeah, I'm going to not be fat after <laughs> I exercise a bunch. That'll be good. I think you maybe you'll feel a better respiratory. You'll have a better respiratory function. Yeah, that I can like. I'll, well, I I find that as I get less fat, I, I want to do more things. Good things. So that's th good. Yes, things are good. What kind, are you are you doing squats? Um, actually, that's one of the few workouts that I don't do because that one kind of scares me. Yeah, that one doesn't seem like it's a good idea. It seems like that's some kind of like not helpful um, showy weight thing. Yeah, I mean, in a way I feel like it probably is, but at the same time, like I've tried them before and like really messed up like my neck because you have like 200 pounds sitting on your neck, you know? Yeah, so like, that seems like a weird one. I've seen people who on, on, uh, on, on videos where they like, you know, they, they have an accident, you know, uh, bowel with their bowels. Yeah. After they do that. Yeah, I could see that happening, because, yeah, your whole, because it is, it's like, your whole body, it's like almost a, it seems like a move that you would do, like, if you're getting crushed by a rock to death, and, like, your last, like, act to, like, try to survive would be, like, the squat, you know? Yeah. And so, like, your body might just try to, like, shit, you know, because that's, like, the fight or flight kind of thing. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, it seems like it could happen. So, are you working out your, your lats? Are you doing the, the, the running, the, uh, the, the treadmill? Yeah, I do. I do. I do, I do, I do weightlift, I do free weights, and I do, you know, different cardio stuff. I do, like, the treadmill, and I do the elliptical, and, you know, I do, I do everything. Do you have a Because I'm trying not to be fat. Yeah. Do you have a trainer? Uh, sort of. I got, like, my buddy Keith, he works out a lot, too, and so he's, like, kind of helping me out, you know. Does he? He, like, knows more about it than I do, so he, like, tells me what to do. He and he's got some friends that know about it too, so. Does he tell you to keep going when you don't want to? Yeah, exactly. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what I saw. Have you seen that show, The Biggest Loser? Yeah. They should ch call that show Yelling at the Fat. The people. Because they're just like, Well, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, more. that's the only way to not be fat. Because that's the only way not to be fat is to do more than you want to do. Because that's the reason you're fat is because you're doing exactly what you want to do. You know? Yeah. That's good. Have you, are you, have you changed your diet? Are you eating a low calorie diet or something? Well, no, I mean, I eat a lot. But see, I work out a lot, so I have to, I still have to eat a lot. Good, Even that's probably healthy. I'm, I'm losing weight. That's, that's good. So, maybe yeah. you, you should do some before and after. Did you, uh, you do any before and after photos? Yeah, well, I have like a picture. In February, I was like 340 pounds and now I'm like 260 pounds Whoa. and I have pictures from February that's a lot of and my that's, target that's a lot yeah it is a lot it feels like a lot but um and like my target weight's like around 200 so I still got about 50 50 more pounds to go 50 or 60 that would be good and then you have to keep exercising too are you doing sit-ups yeah, I do sit-ups, I do like incline sit up We do this thing called medicine ball abs where you do a sit-up and somebody throws a heavy ball at you. And Whoa. You catch it. Have you ever, ever, yeah. has that ever resulted in getting hit in the face? It seems like that would get you get hit in the face. Yeah, I mean, 
not. I've got you know, like maybe once, like at the end when you're like real tired, maybe you'll hit yourself in the face on accident. But but somebody else is throwing the ball. Yeah, you're like toss. They'll throw it at you, and you toss it back to them, and then they throw it back to you. Every time you come up for a sit up, they throw you the ball. Yeah. And then you go down and come back up and throw it to them. Oh wow, that's wild. That sounds that, yeah. that sounds like a fun thing though, kind of. It's pretty fun, yeah. Hey, have you have you seen any ladies? Are there ladies at the gym? Yeah, there's lots of ladies at the gym. Yeah, and they're like, hey, you're working out. Yeah. They oh. do that. Yeah, they say that. I've had, like, yeah, I've had girls come up to me and talk to me at the gym before. That's pretty cool. That sounds like a good, the good place. I think that seems like one of the, the places where people meet people, at the gym. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it is Grand Falls though, so most everybody's kind of, they're a little iffy, you know. Yeah. Um, but that's, that's that's the nature. Is it is it Gold's Gym? Which gym are you are you using? Wow, you guessed it correctly the first time. Gold's Gym. Gold's Gym. Cause I don't know any other gym. That's the only gym I can think of. Yeah, I mean that's what, that's like kind of the archetyp- archetypical one, you know, or the the like uh, I don't know, the one that everybody thinks of. Yeah, but that's the one. Yeah, Gold's Gym. Are you gonna are you gonna get in a, a, a maybe a. a a battle over who can bench the most, and you're like, I can bench the most. Have you tried to do that? Well, no, I bench the least out of all my friends, so I can't really do that. Oh. One day, one day uh, you could challenge somebody to a, a physical contest and win yeah. if you keep working. It's true. I Well, yeah. <clears throat> That's very true. I'm actually, there's at the, the gym I go to, the Gold's Gym, there's a uh, there's a biggest loser contest there, and I think I might I might uh, I might enter that. You you have proof? Have you been? Per- have you, you so um? Do you uh, that seems like, that seems like you're gonna be probably one of the larger people. I don't know anybody else that's. I mean that's over a hundred pounds in a year, right? Yeah. Yeah. If I lost a hundred pounds, I would die. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah. A lot of people don't. I mean, I was. Yeah. I mean, like that's it's. There's a lot of weight, you know. That's pretty exciting. That's why I had to lose it. You should take some pictures. We can once you once you're done your goal weight, you should come down to the program and we can show some show some pictures and you could be a inspiration story. It could be like a one of those things on uh, the local news where they find something that's good and they tell people about it. You know? Yeah. Like heart My only problem is, is that I don't have any like. I feel like I, I could I could somehow parlay this into making money. You know? Like I could be like, oh, I lost all this weight. Maybe like after I lose the weight, I can approach a company that sells a weight loss product and yeah. then tell them that I'll say that I took their product and that's how I lost the weight. Like Jared. Yeah, exactly. You should do that with McDonald's. Whoa. <laughs> sweet chili sauce. I'll do it with sweet chili sauce. Tell them that you ate, like if you only eat a hamburger and run, you know, you eat like a breakfast at McDonald's. And then run, and yeah. then a hamburger at McDonald's. That's that's feasible. You know, you could still be losing weight and eating that much. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that'd be good. I think I think you should do that. I mean, maybe it's true too, right? Even eating all at McDonald's. So. Yeah, I I'm powered by McDonald's. I'll get a big tattoo on my back that says "Powered by McDonald's." It's a big arch. And arches. then, and then you get a, you have to carry, yeah pick, show the pictures. That'd be good. Maybe you you get sponsored by McDonald's too. I'm trying to get sponsored by McDonald's and. We can all be sponsored by McDonald's, maybe, and by you, your weight loss, and the show. So that's good. How how is it coming? Getting how are you doing with getting sponsored? Like, is that is that going anywhere? Well, every time I call the McDonald's, everybody always tells me to call them in the morning, and uh-huh. I don't I don't call people in the morning. I call them in the evening usually or in the afternoon. So I have to do the yeah. program in the morning if I wanted to call them in the morning, so that's, it hasn't really been going, but I'm thinking about maybe doing the program in the morning just so I can call them. Do you get up in the morning though? You're like sleep in, right? Yeah, I usually sleep. Yeah. I'm gonna have to start getting up that's in the morning hard. and make these calls. Well, maybe you should like get an alarm clock or something and like, so that'll wake you up in the morning. Yeah, and then I can do the show first thing in the morning. I've done that like a couple of times and they're usually pretty Weird. I'm in a weird mind state in the morning when I wake up and do, try to do the show. It's kind of gets kind of way, like zany, but uh, I think I'll, maybe I'll do it. Maybe maybe yeah, next year, starting next year sometime. I get really I'll do angry it. in the morning. Yeah. yeah, I'm a little grumpy. Yeah. Um. Have you, have, have you seen the programs that you were on? Have you listened to any of them on the TV? 
on the internet? No, I haven't. I haven't seen any of them yet. I haven't really. I haven't had that much access to a computer lately, so oh. I can't really. Your parents don't have the internet. Yeah, they have the internet, but like I, I've been. Well, I was in the. You know, I was down in California for a while, and like I've just been kind of running around lately. Did you? But I don't really have time to sit sit down and check did, that out yet. Did you exercise in California? Yeah, I got like a temporary gym membership down there and exercise down there. That's exciting. I've never I've yeah. never been to a gym. It seems like a, a scary. Oh, how about locker rooms? There's a lot, a lot of old people in the locker rooms, and they put their leg on there, and they show you the testicles. Well, I used to go to the YMCA, and there was a lot of that there. Yeah. Oh shit! Oh shit! Uh, I almost I almost lost it there. I'm driving. Oh. Oh man. Is this it's snowing? Whoa. It's like really icy out. It's cr it's kind of crazy. It's like a skating rink. Oh wow. Maybe. But anyway. No, no, I'm almost, to, I'm going to talk until, I'm almost to the gym. I'll talk to you until I get to the gym. All right. But anyway, um, I used to go to the YMCA, and there was a lot of that there. There was a lot of old people, and they were, like, you know, really comfortable with their nudity, because they're old, they don't really care. Yeah. And, uh, so you would see a lot of, you know, testicles and old, old boobs, man boobs and stuff, and, like. Yeah. That was, but I don't really care. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm Finnish. So that means like I have a European sensibility about nudity, so like I don't care. No, that's but weird. it affects other people. Yeah. But like but at the Gold's gym there's not really you don't really ever see it. I think people are much more ashamed of themselves in Granite Falls and so they don't ever nobody ever showers here or like I don't know. You yeah. never see anybody in the locker room here though. Because they're trying Especially to look better. Naked. Yeah. Exactly. That's good for them. I guess. Yeah. Well, hey, hey, Kenny, I'm getting to the gym right now, so I'm going to have to let you go. All but, right. Uh, it was good talking to you. Yes. Good. You can call the program. If you want to call in sometime and leave a message, that would be fun. And you can just call this number back and just leave a message sometime if you feel inclined, okay? It's just this number, this number that you called me on. I can call this number back and leave a message on it? Yes. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. All right. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. All right, that was Nick. You talked for a good amount of program there. Um, Maybe talked almost for uh, 15 minutes. That's like a a quarter of the program with Nick. We still got the cat cam. Cat is like in the spot, so it's not moving. I got that mic. There's this mic right here, and I, I turned it on. See? So maybe I can get the cat to say something. I got the cat's mic. The cat is mic'd up now. See that mic right there? It's mic'd up, so if the cat says anything... That'll be the guest. So we have a guest cat with its own mic. But I don't think the cat gets that the mic is on. See? But the cat has a mic. It's right there. And it can maybe... It'll probably tap it. Tap the mic. So... How's it going, cat? Oh, no answer. No answer from the cat. So... We're going to call the next people here. It's called Dan. Let's see how Dan's doing. Hey Dan, we'll say, hey Dan, how you doing? Let's see, Dan, looking for Dan's number, where's Dan? Dan, no, no, Dan. And, no. I'm trying to find the number, oh, here it is. So we're going to call Dan now. Uh, I want Dan to come back on the show, maybe next year I'll come back on the show sometime. I mean, we're into the year, not next year, next year, but because I'm in a week in the past, so it's still the last year for me for one more day, so tomorrow it'll be the next day on your end, but for me it's still this day, so here we go. Call him down. Cat's got a mic. have reached a number that does not accept solicitation. If you are a solicitor, please add Dan, this number to your solicitor. Do not call list and hang up. Thank you. Please hold. I'm not a solicitor, Dan. So I got the camera got I'm not going to say anything now. Say something to my kitty.
Hey Dan, this is your day out with me. Uh, I know you screened your call, so if you're there, maybe you can pick up. It sounds like maybe you're not there, so we'll see if you another message. We have a new phone number here at the program. It's the number is Ed Zero Lund eighty eight and you can call in. Uh, okay, thanks, bye bye. So that was Dan. Uh, Dan didn't answer the phone. Let's call another McDonald's. Delaware. Dover, Delaware. McDonald's here. So here it goes. We're going to call Dover, Delaware. Dover, Delaware, McDonald's. Need um, let them know that that sandwich they rang up from front counter, the two McDouble, the one McDouble, turn a quarter bun, and they want the big onions. Hello. Hello, McDonald's. Yes. Hey, uh, you guys have the sweet chili sauce? You guys who? Hey, chicken nugget sauce, sweet chili sauce. Chicken nugget, sweet chili sauce? No. You don't? No, we don't have a sweet chili sauce. Oh, uh, do you know if you're gonna get any back in soon? Um, I do not. Yeah. Uh, it was just, uh, just for the Special Olympics they had it. Special, for the Special Olympics? Yeah. Did you get those two fun Sundays? What's the Special Olympics? Like, like for the handicapped? Yeah. Oh. Hello? Oh uh, yes, would there be anything else? So, I want to get the sauce. Do you think they'll have it at corporate? Say again? You think maybe they'll have that sauce at the corporate headquarters of McDonald's or something? Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. You would have to call them, so I gotta go. I'm very busy. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Very busy. So I guess they're very busy. Um, see, so we have about uh, 20 minutes left on the program here. 25 minutes. I think we started the show about 5.10, moving to 6.10, about 25 minutes left to go. So I'm in here a little bit more than halfway through. The cat's been there. I'm still trying to get the cat to say something. The cat is mic'd up. See? Oh, see. See? The cat is mic'd up, but not answering. So we'll try to get the cat to say something. That's what happens on the program today. Sometimes try to get things happen. Today we're trying to get animals to talk, but they don't talk to really. cats. Cats don't talk. They don't know what to say. So, moving through time on the program. Seeing how he's doing, seeing, seeing who he was talking. Called to McDonald's, we called Nick. Called Dan. People don't want to answer because they have a new phone number. People are freaked out by the new phone number. They see the new phone number and they don't want to answer. Okay. No? Alright, so here we go. After this, we'll call uh, Jeremy. Hello? Hey, what's up? How are you doing? Oh, awesome! I'm on TV! Yeah, this is TV. Hey, have you seen anything exciting? Happened in the past couple of days? Um. Uh, no. Hey, what's your favorite chicken nugget sauce? I, I'm, I'm a ketchup fan. Just ketchup. ketchup. All I right. I mustard too, actually. Hey, do you mustard, ever? You, you can ketchup, call onto the show. Together. What? Uh, my hair is fat today. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Call in. What? I'm already talking to you. Oh. I tried I to it's call happening. Sharita. I'm I tried doing to call it. Say what you want to say. I tried to call Sharita's phone, but she didn't answer. Oh, yeah. They went to eat sushi. Oh. I'll have to make another phone call. Them. Good luck. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, we're moving through time still. We still have about 20 minutes to go, about 22 minutes. 
Uh, I don't have any topics to talk about on the show. You know, I just started the program today. Uh, it's almost the new year, though, but sometimes I think I should maybe get some lists. I should get some guests or something. Some, yeah, we have a lot of guests. Yesterday we had Dan Dobler. Um, tomorrow we're going to have Mary on the program on the New Year's episode for our end here, but it's not New Year's for you guys. This is going to be some Friday episode over there on the other end of the program, but um, New Year's for us here, so we can call more people. We called the McDonald's. We called uh, Dan, and we called Freddie and Nick, and uh, now we're calling McDonald's. Here we go, let's see how McDonald's is doing again. <coughs> oh, this one's loud, this McDonald's is loud. Play by McDonald's. Hey, McDonald's, do you guys have the sweet chili sauce? Say it one more time. Do you guys have sweet chili sauce? No, they just continue. It's been almost a year now. Do you guys have sweet chili sauce? Hello? Uh, they didn't answer. So I'm trying to look around, find this thing, try to get this, this thing on, on cat cam to work better, because it fell apart, but I think the parts are still around here somewhere. And then I'm not to hold it, but uh, it's, it's kind of lost. Is this, is this this part that going around the, the thing? Because I fell, kind of fell apart. So where's the, all the pieces? Though the pieces have to be somewhere. They didn't just disappear. So they're around here somewhere. Oh, here's a key. Here's a thing for the camera. Uh, maybe it's in the, in the seat. It's in the seats. Looking, I'm looking in the studio. Here, oh, here, look, I found it. I've done it. So I found the thing I was looking for here, trying to fix the uh, this this camera here. I think it goes like this. Oh, but then there's a screw. It's the screw that's missing. We lost a screw. Screw loose, as it were. We have a screw loose here. So um, we gotta just get some tape or something. If I had some tape, I could fix it. Some glue. And just get it to balance, right? And then we can we can just set this up to balance. I'm trying to I'm trying to get the, this camera to balance so then I don't have to hold it. So I've been holding it for a while now. Uh oh. So oh shows it's falling apart. There it goes. So almost got it to balance. Gonna balance the 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 camera on the on the system and then it'll be easier. But what am I? It's not balancing. I don't have anything to balance it to. Should try to. Uh, well, I guess I'll just leave the camera, or else it gets it gets kind of dizzying because I'm trying to move it around, trying to get some slack, so I could uh, get some better balance going with it. But uh, here it goes. Yeah, slack and balance. We're gonna get. It's gonna be worked out here. I'm gonna get set it up so that the ca the camera works better. Maybe today is just a it's a, just a buffer show. I mean, Thursday shows. What happens on Thursdays? You know. So if you guys are watching on TV, the number here is Ed Zero Lend ADA, and you can call in the program. You can leave a message. We'll play your messages on TV. You can call. You can if you have a topic. That'll be good because I don't have any topics. And then if you had a topic, you could uh, you could tell us about the topic, and then we could uh, we could we could answer. That'd be helpful. Topics are helpful. Because then, if you had a topic, you could uh, tell us about it, and then we could uh, we could answer. Because I don't have any topics really. That'd be helpful if I planned them out. I, d I just I start the show. I don't have any topics. I don't know why. Maybe if I had a topic, then I could do the program better. I never really think about it though. And then we don't have any topics, and then that's what happens. Well, I haven't gotten the camera thing to work, so I'm just gonna go back here with the cat cam, but um. Still haven't gotten it to uh, the thing to to, to work. Where am I? Where am I on the camera? There, I'm right here. 
don't know. I'm, I should be over farther this way. So there I am. So I'm still trying to get the this thing to go. Maybe soon. I gotta find some screws. Then I have to hold it, but I'm just gonna hold it, I guess. See that mic is set up. The cat can talk. Not talking. I don't have anybody. Maybe I'll call McDonald's again. We, I'm only. I'm just trying to go through the show. You know, we're moving through time, though. Time moves forward. We move forward with it. And that's what happens. You know. I mean, this is when the show really starts getting wild at the end here. I mean, I I I stop the show. I don't have anything to say. And by the whole end of the hour, wow, wow, boy, do I have some topics going. Um. So, I, I mean, I started the show 103 days ago, and I, the first thing I said in the program, I was like, man, I don't know what I'm going to do on the show, and where is it going to go forward, and so, now, now really, it's like that, you know, what am I going to do on the show, and where is the show going to go to next, these are questions I don't really know the answers to, but we can, through, you know, through time, we can, we can answer the questions ourselves. So here I go. I'm gonna call Jeremy. Uh, he is on the program sometimes, and we're gonna call him up and see how he's doing. We say, "Hey, how you do?" Is it going? Well, I think I pulled out the the, the sound. Hello? Oh, that might have been something like the message machine, maybe, so... Hey, Jeremy, this is your new hour with me. This is your message. Do you have a new phone number? So that be too freaked out by the new number. Okay, bye-bye. So, cat's mic'd up. And next to the phone. Waiting for a phone call. Cat waiting for a phone call, you see? There's the cat looking at the phone. Waiting for a phone call. So now we're going to call the number that is listed on Mel's page here, and it's uh, the wrong number when you call it, it's somebody else, and we ask them if Noah is there, we say, hey, is Noah there? And he's not there, it's the wrong number. So we call them and we'll say that and see how that goes, so. Here it goes. <coughs> Calling the not Noah guy, the wrong number, Noah number, so, there he goes. No answer. Here. Record your message after the tone. To send a numeric page, press 5. When you are finished recording, hang up, or for delivery options, press pound. Hey Noah, this is your day out of me. We're just calling you, seeing how you're doing. Maybe you want to give us a call back. That'll be nice. Number here is Ed Zero Land ADA. All right, here it's called Jacob. See how he's doing, calling everybody one day at a time, everybody, see how they do, see how people do. See how Americana is moving to the time with us on the daily, on the daily hour. It's Thursday. We're competing with Letterman and Leno now. Uh, I think we're winning. That's what people tell me. I say, I, I think we're winning, and people usually they say, yes, I think you are winning. So we have about... Uh, Ten minutes on the program. This is Jacob Young, leave a message. Oh, Jacob. Record your message after the tone. To send a numeric page, press 5. When you are finished re recording, hang up. Or for delivery options, press pound. Hey, Jacob, it's the program. We have a new phone number here. The number is Ed Zero Land 88 So if you got that number and you didn't answer, then that's us. So it's the one that we just called you. 
All right, bye bye. So that was oh, see the cat's hitting the mic. You can hear it. Hit the mic. So here we go. We're gonna call the team next and see how they're just doing on the program. We have a new phone number, so people aren't answering the, co the phones because uh, they don't know the number and they they people screen their phone calls and they're crazy. They're not answering. People don't answer their phones. Hi, this is Justine. Um, I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave a message, I'll call you back as soon as possible. Okay, thanks. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To leave a callback number, press 5. Hey, Justine, it's your daily hour with me. We're calling you and seeing how you're doing. We're here on the program. If you want to give us a call back, the number is Ed Zero Lend Eighty A, and you can call us back. All right, so it's a good to do that. Okay, have a good time. Bye bye. So that was uh, who was that? Well, they they didn't answer. And uh, so we're calling, keeping keeping it through, keeping calls going. We'll make a next call. I think we'll call. Uh, this this one and then oh you hear that you can they were talking to the mic let the mic go in so let's call another McDonald's here in Wilmington Delaware and then we'll call Andrew we have about ten minutes left on the program and you know with yesterday we had Dan on the program and then we went a lot faster he had stuff to talk about but we don't have any topics Dan t talking about the Beatles and about <coughs> Jimi Hendrix and stuff. But we don't have any anything like that to talk about, so we're just here with the cat and the phones. Yeah. We should try getting new cameras. Ooh. So we're trying to call the McDonald's back and they're not answering. Oh, they may hear me going with a weird noise. <coughs> She's looking at it. I'm pointing the camera at the cat. <coughs> Is there something in the mic? I set that mic there. <coughs> so there's McDonald's not answering. Answer McDonald's. If any of you interns out there, if anybody wants to be the intern, I'm looking for an intern. If you have skills in construction or baking, anything other than TV, if you have any kind of skills, call into the program. The number is Ed Zero Land ADA. You can be the next intern. We're going to do the Your Daily Hour with Me Ultimate Intern Contest. And you can do things like count how many times the phone rings on the program and document the McDonald's that we call and write down the guests. And you can backlog and watch all those old shows. You can do all that stuff. You can help book guests. It's a it's a good internship. You can if you're intern with the program, then you can uh, be part of the program. You can you uh, it'll help you out. Yes, McDonald's. Do you guys have the holiday pies? 
Yes, we do. Oh, hey, what's in the pies? What? What? What is the holiday pie? What's in the? What's in the holiday sauce? It's like a pudding. A pudding like in there. Pudding. Pudding pie. Kind of, yeah. Hey, what color is the sauce? What? What color is that sauce? What color is it? Yeah. Like vanilla. Vanilla color? Vanilla. White? It's like a vanilla pudding. Like like yellow? Kind of. Kinda yellow? More you think orange orange or yellow? It's vanilla. Vanilla, vanilla is, so it's more white? You think it's more white colored or yellow colored? Yep. What's the color of it though, not the flavor? It's tan, it's vanilla pudding. It's tan? Uh oh. See, I don't know what that means. It's tan. I thought it was white or yellow or orange. She couldn't answer the question. You're gonna hang up. Is that what that's what happened? I guess people don't know how to answer a question. Let's hang up. Uh, I don't know the answer to that question. I'm just gonna hang up. I guess. I don't know the answer. I don't know the answer. Maybe she just uh just just be like, oh, I don't know the answer to that question. I'm sorry. We should just hang up. That's crazy. To hang up, how it's supposed to be people gonna call and ask you questions? If people just hung up when they didn't know the answer, then communication on the phone would just fall apart. <laughs> so, we have a new phone number, so lots of people aren't gonna answer their phones. We're about five minutes left in the program today. Moving through time. Hello? Oh, uh, hello? Wait, oh, this Andrew? Or this Nick again? What? Andrew? Hey, hey Kenny. Yeah. yeah hey, we're, we're on the program. Yes, this is the program. Hey, TV Land. Um, I'm actually busy right now. I'm at dinner, but uh, I hope, hope you guys hope you guys are moving through time nicely and uh, have a good show, man. I'll be I'll be back in Olympia soon. Where'd you go? Uh, where'd I go? I've been in Seattle. I'm about to go see for Costco, and then I'm gonna go home. Costco? And, uh, yeah, Picasso. Picasso? It's like, yeah, there's like a exhibit. Picasso? Yeah. You want to be on a TV show? You want to be on a TV show? Yeah. Like, like, like. Right now. Like, I'm on TV right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? My friend Lucy. You want to talk to her? I can hear her. Yeah, this is Lucy. She wants to be on the show. Here. Hey. Hi, Lucy. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. You. This is the program. Hey, do you like? Is Andrew a nice guy? You think so? What? Are you a big fan of Andrew? Is he a good guy? I can't really hear you. I'm sorry. Do you like Andrew? You think he's a nice guy? Yeah, Andrew's a great guy. Yeah? Are you do you live in Seattle? What? You live in Seattle? No, I live in Portland. Oh, what are you doing in Seattle? What are you doing in Seattle? Uh to see Picasso. Seeing Picasso? Hey, yeah. do, you, do you like McDonald's? Huh? Do you like McDonald's? Do I like McDonald's? Yes. What? I can hear him. Yeah, no, he's doing alright. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> cool, man. Yeah, I can hear you. Yes? Oh, yeah, okay, have a good time. Yeah, you too, man. I'll see you soon. Okay. Okay, bye. So, look at the, uh, you, you hear the cat when they moved around. I got, I got the cat mic'd up. On the pip, yeah. See when cat moves around, it's mic'd up. So here we go. Let's call. We have about about two minutes left in the program, and then we're gonna call it a day. So here we go.
Call him, call him at McDonald's and that'll be it. Call it the show. Speaking, I may help you. Hey, McDonald's, do you guys have the sweet chili chicken nugget sauce? No, we don't. Oh, uh, do you know if you're going to get any back soon? I'm sorry? Do you know if you're going to get it back anytime soon? Oh, uh, it was only a limited time only. Limited time only? They're not going to bring it back? Um, as far as I know, no. Hey, do you guys have the holiday pies right now? I'm sorry? Do you guys have holiday pies? Um, no, we don't. We're out of them, too. Oh... They were limited time only. Everything limited. What about Hello Kitty watches? Nope, they only come around once a year. Everything? No, so, what happens? You guys, you think McDonald's sells out of all that stuff or they have some kind of like warehouse somewhere with all this old stuff in it? I'm sorry, I didn't understand the last thing you said. Do they have a warehouse that's full of like all the old McDonald's stuff? Like the sweet chili sauce and the, the holiday um, pies and the, the, the watches? Not to my knowledge. You don't know? Maybe there's some kind of big factory somewhere, some warehouse where they got it all. No, I don't believe so. Oh. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So that's, a, that's about the show. That's it. So, bye-bye. Say bye-bye, baby. Bye-bye.